Well, greetings and salutations, test takers. This is the Series 7 Guru coming to you from my studio here in fabulous Las Vegas with an explication request. The best free supplement to your paid study materials is my YouTube channel. But if you're looking for a paid supplement, I highly recommend a Kaplan QBank if you don't already have one. With my Guru 10 discount code at checkout, you can get it for about 60 bucks and it's best in class. For that commercial, Kaplan allows me to give you a free look on Kaplan content. So here's a request. This is Kaplan QID 1264871. An option trader goes long 1XYZ October 60 put at 6 and purchases, by the way, long purchase owner holder, all the same things. 1XYZ October 60 call at 6. So the trader's out 6 for the put. He's out 6 for the call. And the first thing you've got to be able to do on option strategy questions is figure out what are you looking at? Are you looking at a basic option? Are you looking at a spread? You know, are you looking at an alligator, a flamingo? I'm joking. What are you looking at? And so you should have been able to look at this, this test taker, and say, this is a straddle. That's the first test question about a straddle is, can you identify it? Even if that wasn't the case, it is. I just told you it is. If that was the case, you can't do anything here, right? Uh, FXYZ is at 68 at expiration. What's the investor gain or loss? So, you know, the second test question on a straddle is can you calculate the break evens? Uh, it's the only strategy in which you have two, right? You got to cover your out of pocket cost here, right? So I'm out of pocket, six for the put, six for the call. So I'm out of pocket a total 12 points. So my break even is going to be 60 plus 12, 60 minus 12. The third thing you got to be able to determine is where is the straddle profitable? And so here, 68 is not going to be profitable. You know, a good memory aid device is silo. Short inside, if you're short the straddle, you want the market price to be in between the break even. And if you're long, you want it outside. So if I need this above 72 or below 68, and as you can see here, not the case. The fourth test question about straddles is when do you use it? You buy a straddle when you're expecting volatility, but direction is uncertain. All right, well, let's see if we can answer this question. There's the market price of uh, XYZ, and we're straddling 60. And as we said, our upside break even is strike price plus total premiums, 72. And our downside break even is strike price minus total premiums, 48. And we said silo says that we want the stock to be either above 72 or below 48. So we're losers anywhere between those two prices. And 68 is four points away from my break even. So that's one way I could have done it. I said, okay, well, it's four points away from my break even. So that's a four point or 400 a loss. Now, another way you could have done it is you can make your T, which I'm always a big fan of, right? I'm just showing you 68 is four points in the wrong direction from the break even. Fire up our T. I paid six for the put, six for the call. And another way I could have proceeded is say, okay, well, I'm out of pocket 12. And at expiration, the 60 call is worth eight. So I paid 12 for a position that's only worth eight. Another way to say I lost four points. The 60 put with the stock at 68 is going to expire. So, you know, all kinds of different ways to do this. You could say another way to think about it is I lose six points on the put. I uh, made uh, two points on the, the call, it doesn't play out. Now, you should also know as a test taker that if at expiration, the contract has intrinsic value, the contract will be exercised. And so I'm going to exercise the 60 call. And if I exercise the 60 call and I sell the stock at 68, I, now we can just total up the columns and I've got 72 out and I only got 68 in. All right, so this is a straddle. Straddle is pretty straightforward on the test. And the answer to this question is a $400 loss. So I will link to a little uh, lecture I have on uh, straddles. It's called Score for More because there's four test questions on the straddle. Can you identify it? Can you calculate the break-evens? Can you determine where it's profitable? When do you use it? So remember, inch by inch, your Series 7 is a cinch. Yard by yard, your Series 7 is hard. And I'll see you for the next explication request.